Hey guys, this is Dr. Hub. In case you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe for updates. Femoral canal and we are looking at its anatomy. So before we start, we let's refresh based on the image. So assume this is the ASIS and there is a ligament which passes through inguinal ligament and there is a femoral nerve which is present then comes the presence of the femoral artery and vein femoral artery this will be the femoral vein next is there is a femoral canal fc for the femoral canal and just next to the femoral canal lies the lacunar ligament this is the lacunar ligament and below the lacunar ligament lies the pectineus muscle so below all this lies the pectineus muscle Now there is a ligament which is present below. This is nothing but the Cooper's ligament. Cooper's ligament. Now let's go ahead with the theory. So looking at the borders medially what is present medially it is nothing but the lacunar ligament so it is a lacunar ligament which is present medially then when you look at laterally it will be the femoral vein it is a femoral vein and what is present anteriorly inguinal ligament inguinal ligament and posteriorly will be the pectineal ligament it is a pectineal ligament and also the superior ramus of the pubic bone and the pectineus bone it is a superior ramus and this is of the pubic bone and the pectineus bone so the pubic pubic bone as well as a pectineus bone now let's look at what are the contents of this so under contents it includes the lymphatic vessels so there is presence of the lymphatic vessels so under lymphatic vessels there is uh, it drains the deep inguinal lymph nodes so draining the deep inguinal lymph nodes and there is also the deep lymph node so lymph vessels draining deep inguinal lymph deep inguinal lymph nodes then the deep lymph node this is the lacunar node then comes the deep uh, the empty space there is presence of the empty space as well as the loose connective tissue is present the loose connective tissue may be present now what is the point of what is the importance of this femoral canal the femoral canal is of a particular clinical importance as it is a common site of the bowel herniation so bowel herniation is commonly present here next the femoral hernia is a part of the small intestine protrudes to the femoral ring so in terms of the femoral hernia a part of the small intestine so the small intestine a part of it will protrude to the femoral ring 
then comes that it presents as a lump situated inferolaterally to the pub pubic tubercle so it presents as a lump and it is situated intro inferolaterally it is situated inferolaterally and this is to the pubic tubercle to the pubic tubercle and this type of herniation is more common in the women due to the wider pelvic bone so it is more common in terms of the women because the wide pelvic bone so there is presence of the wide pelvic bone the next important point is the borders of the femoral canal are tough so the borders they are very tough and are not particularly extendable and it is not extendable this can compress the hernia so they are not uh, they are very tough and not particularly extendable so this will compress the hernia so this can compress the hernia and it interferes with the blood supply leading to the strangulated hernia so it is uh, compress the hernia and interferes with the blood supply it interferes with the blood supply leading to the strangulated hernia so it leads to the strangulated hernia to learn and grow daily like this please do subscribe